you'd rather say hi ngumlungu hey umlungu hi shem yeah bebashanya apartheid but as far qoleleni they must get the medication you know you cannot speak about the fourth industrial revolution when you're an eight year old you <laughs> don't know for ir you know you do not know the impact hopefully lento reach the years of politics guys you suck <laughs> so somehow it becomes confusing that why does a young black person or a young african person need to be evaluated for them being poor they see that you are poor but you poor. Oh, yeah. you know, poor. <laughs> you know, so the yeah. current government is doing that to us as Hello, my name is Jay Stories and Sokyo Ish, the story behind your story. How's it? Thanks for honoring the invite, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, much. yeah. Let's Thank get you. to know you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. know, you can tell us good when I was about where you come from and how did you get into politics? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me to this uh, podcast, uh, yeah. Tokyo Ish. I wasn't really, really sure about what Tokyo Ish is about, but mm. up until I got to you know yeah, 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 yeah do my research about it my name is Kahiso Nkuna i'm from orange farm currently studying in city bank tibet college right. uh, engineering and related design mm. um so me getting into politics basically i was a very vocal person mm. from high school mm-hmm. so high school like vocal jablile secondary school mm-hmm. in orange farm so um i got involved in politics when i was in grade 12 Mm. metric 2020 yeah. yeah that's when i got super super vocal but in grade 10 2018 i was still in cosas you know yeah a member of the anc before i knew what the truth is and then joined the eff <laughs> i was a former i'm a former member of the okay. anc yeah and uh yeah i got to join the eff later on in 2021 and then yeah after yeah after metric when i saw really really what was happening in the country and how yeah. the EFF was trying to change all those dynamics and yeah I, I got political from that point so yeah. it out what happened because now change um it, what I'd, I'd, I'd say is that um the ANC is presiding mm. so they are in government mm. so basically they are the ones who run the show in South Africa yeah they have they have the majority in parliament you know they have employees in in work they have unions and all of that so me getting into a higher learning institution which is city bank tibet college mm. there was too many constraints to access in terms of financial access mm. and um, academic access mm. there's resources that we couldn't gather for ourselves mm. but the anc would promise you that it's there go to school it's there and then i found a bunch of radicals uh, zuela kengosini whom said come join I was a member of the EFF by that time, but I joined the student wing, mm. which is the student EFF student command. Okay. And then I became active, active, and then yeah, that's when I saw okay. No there's man. there's things that the EFF is able to do mm. which the ANC claims it's been doing for okay. all these years. Yeah. You know. So one of the things that made me join the EFF was that fine i made my research about it mm. i saw their values yeah. the the constitution what does it mean uh, the seven cardinal pillars in which you'd find uh, the eff cic always talk about that we need land expropriation of land without compensation free decolonized and quality education so those are the things that the anc was supposed to advocate for but in the past 30 years they didn't advocate for those things so mm. you find many young people who do not have access to higher education Many young people do not have, do not have access to funding, mm, adequate mm, funding for mm. their own studies. So it means that when you go into a post metric, mm, mm, you 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 are now stricken by this line of poverty, this line of drug abuse and substance abuse, because you do not have access to any facility that will help you pursue your dream. Even this was supposed to be this particular materials that we are using here. Mm. They are supposed to be funded by the government. 
because it's part of talent it's part of recreation sports at, at an ag- agriculture mm. so they're supposed to fund it the funding is there mm. but there are no facilities mm. so there's supposed to be a facility that, that is built by the government to say young people if you do not find um, a space of learning or you want to pursue a dream maybe in the media mm. or you want to be a journalist there is a facility for you so you go there the state as the custody custodian of everything in this country mm. is supposed to make such available for the young people which is not there currently damn dog. yeah that's deep dog. so like 2020 yes i want to know what's like very like things like about metric yeah yeah about covid 19 yeah. and yeah. what was happening Ish. like it just came <laughs> out covid 19 uh um it, it 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 with the the lockdown period mm. started um after two weeks of me being sworn in as the rcl president mm. and then uh, i couldn't address this the the learners at that time there was this you know the breakout of covid people are panicking oh, dog. people are panicking we also are panicking we're in the dark mm. we do not know what's happening what's going to happen in the future what's gonna what's gonna happen with the examination period mm. because now we're, we're told to say go and stay at home you know mm. staying at home is something else we, we stayed tw- 2020 matriculants will tell you that yes, we stayed so. at home without any material to study yeah because now we're, we're, chair, we're, uh, my <laughs> man, at that time yeah. uh, at, at home we didn't have electricity mm. so i had to go charge my phone somewhere else mm. For me to go back the and transformer have, for me. yeah the transformer mm-hmm. had exploded mm-hmm. so for me to have um my phone with me and access all learning materials through group chat mm. my grandmother here who was someone who was working in country couldn't go to work anymore mm. so there is no source of income mm. so where am i going to get the data to, for me to access those learning materials mm. so it became one of those things that Ish, it, it, it's, a, it's a barrier now mm, 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 and for me to overcome this barrier it's something that i need to be mentally ready for it and many other people need to be mentally ready for it mm. but most most of the people in my class or well, the class of 2020 mm. fell behind Ish, dog. Like they fell behind 2020 yeah it 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 it, it it was not nice. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nice. I, I want to tell you that it wasn't nice. Mm. And a lot of things happened in due course. Now we need to go back to class. Mm. Uh, going back to class, you'd find that a teacher has been infected with COVID. So now you need to go back home again. Fish. You know, each, if, if there's a staff member infected, days. you need to go 14 days. And again, uh, the government had said uh, there needs to be access, full access to uh, san- sanitary um, yeah, 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 yeah. facilities like toilets if you look at the state of toilets in our schools it's bad mm. it's bad so we we also stayed at home again to say fix this it, it's it, it's making us vulnerable to mm. other infections mm. fix those toilets so it's another deadlock again we mm. need to go back home and stay behind and and study while at home at home you can't focus my man Ish, you can't wow. you can't you are you're at home you're in this cocoon of yours some of us, there's children here, you know, that are not going to school. You are the only one going to school. There's kids around, you mm. know, they're making noise. So you can't study in peace. Mm. You know, there's Umalume in other families who comes in drunk. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. they had to go and drink somewhere. Mm. And remember, the consumption of alcohol at that time, people were drinking alcohol secretly. Mm, mm, so mm, you, mm. Didn't, you didn't know what... Mm. Or will he be arrested for being mm. found with alcohol and all of that? So it was a very tough period mm. for me. And I'd like to just speak for me, but in general, yeah, 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 yeah. for many people across the country, it was a very, very tough period, yeah. especially for the black child. Mm, mm, mm. For the black child, it was very, very difficult. Yeah. Now, like, uh, it's been how many years since Ugu EFF? It's been 20, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2024. Four years. Four years yes. now. Yeah. So. Uh, 2024. Mm-hmm. This is the new. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, uh, it's the 1994. Yes. It's our 1994. Yes. Yeah. So like, so <laughs> 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 you understand? Yes. Like, yes. I want to. Bash good. Like, uh, bash good. Like, uh, 
in youth like most like i registered like yeah. you understand yeah. yeah because like you don't care about politics and yeah. all of that you yeah. understand so i want to go to like kukulume now like abo o o stravising about politics about what you should know yeah. Yeah, about those but, kind of things but currently there's been a paradigm shift mm. 70% of the newly registered voters mm. are young people mm. so iec gave us that statistics that people who registered to vote in this period from 28 mm. november to 3rd and 4th mm-hmm. of february this year 70% of 78% of them are young people mm. so aging from 19 to 24 mm. so you can see the difference that young people are now starting to become interested in learning about politics mm. and exercising their right to vote mm. because it, the past generations did not mm. because they were still comfortable that the anc still gives us grants we'll the provide. anc still provides this but mm. at at the same time there's many facilities that that their level of uh, maintenance is going down mm. um there's no longer that hype about fixing you know development so the the government is, is no longer development um, orientated mm. so you, young people are now starting to see that okay when i go to an institution of high learning mm. i find the eff mm. i find red t-shirts waiting for me at the gate mm. and those people have not yet registered but they are helping me register mm. so they somehow put their li- their lives or their academics on the line for me mm. and again is that the eff again um has politicized this country mm. uh you'd find someone who's who's having problems with their laborer or at work when they call the eff the eff goes there and the problem is solved Mm. So young people are starting to see and by the way the EFF is a very very media orientated uh, um, uh, political, political party. party yeah they know where to find young people mm. so they get themselves there because they we believe that young people are the future mm, the so generation. when when we invest in the future we see that okay now we're getting somewhere mm. yeah the future the young people are graduating we're having so many doctors really? yeah, going to the there's again, many yeah. people who are, are getting studying for their doctorates mm. you know through it some some of them are through the EFF mm. you know there's funding yes NSFAS is there mm. but we also need to remember mm. that for that person to get NSFAS they're they're firstly um, evaluated mm, 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 mm. so uh, somehow it becomes confusing that why does a young black person or a young african person need to be evaluated for them being poor they see that you are poor mm. but you, you need to say prove how do you prove that you are poor when you are already poor <laughs> you know so the yeah. current government is doing that mm. to us as as young african people mm. for me to find that funding i must prove that my mom is not working mm. in a government facility mm. or not working for the government you know even if they are working for the government they still cannot afford mm. you know um there's a child whose mother is a teacher but umama can cannot afford Aye. to maybe pay for their accommodation fees mm-hmm. you know because also when you get into an institution of higher learning you need to remember that you're no longer going to stay at home Ish. and traveling is also expensive transport is expensive mm. it can be from here to spooky mm. but it's very expensive, expensive yeah. on a daily basis you traveling you know it's expensive and the government doesn't make any more uh, efforts to subsidize mm, transport mm, for mm, for young people mm. you know you, if you enter in a bus it's still the same price as someone who's old mm. plus the issue of my funds and as far as the issue of funds and as far as even today till today mm. young people have not yet received their last year's allowances mm. yeah but there is 6 billion rands that is lost yeah so who do we question who who is to be accountable mm. so it seems as if this government of today money that is supposed to be concentrated to young people is eaten mm. but when you look at abogogo they give abogogo so many so much attention mm. but it's no longer that intense as it was before abogogo we now are starting to suffer and mm. they are seeing that ay, the anc no government man, yeah, is starting yeah, yeah. to make us suffer mm. yes the anc is a black people's government mm. that we need to be very realistic mm. of but instead of now being it advocating for the young people and everyone mm. in society they are now starting to advocate for themselves and their families mm. you know so mm-hmm. they they've become self-oriented self-advocates mm. you know 
there was a councillor here in Sibukeng when uh, I think it's Everton, mm. Everton North, next to the grave. Um, there's a sewer spill. Yeah. Uh, the ANC president is coming. Nothing is done to fix that sewer. Mm. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Mm. The media is there. Mm. It's coming to cover the president and all of that. They ask the word cancel. Mm. Why is there sewer spillage here? You know what he said on national TV? Mm. He just bought a new BMW. He said, am I supposed to drive a Tez? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so it's funny mm. that you want to be seen in a, in a BMW. Yeah. But the people that you say you represent or the people that voted for you to be their leader, to take them out of poverty, to make sure that they have access to opportunities, mm. you do not put them first. Mm. You put the BMW C plus, yeah. you know, and then you say, don't want to drive a test. There's nothing wrong about driving a test. Mm. As long as you are able to reach each and every member of the community mm -hmm. and answer to their calls mm. of whatever that they need. Mm. If, if there's a sewer and you can't fix it as a ward counselor, that says a lot about you as a leader of that particular society. Mm. So the ANC is no longer about the people. It's about their self, mm. you know. Mm. Even the deployment to wherever, to parliament, you know. Mm. And they deploy a lot of illiterate people. Ish. Yeah, there's too many illiterate in the ANC. Mm. And that we also need to be aware of as young people. That they, we, we can't be led by someone who, who's going to say, yeah, education is, 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 is the key to success. But Bars. they are not educated. Ish. Oof. Bars, bars, bars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bars. I yeah. understand your point, right? Yes, yes. But, oh, I understand your point. Mm -hmm. I, oh, can you hear me? I'm good. Okay. I understand your point, and it totally makes sense. But don't you think, Uguti, okay, <laughs> but don't you think um lomuntu loyo oti um education should is actually for the people because yena okay right yena gayang but according to e mindset yeah okay because of uyenze labant uya konuguti actually education is best asa zuguti what are the reasons ugumiyenzu guta ngai skole yes as much as we na Okay, and Tigis and whatnot. But Tibati education is the key to success when Uti when they Latina. Yeah, because they have a opportunity. So Masinga was Uguya Escolueni se register senza nisa apply. But we can't go to school. I'm a NS fast I pull out, but education is the key to success. How? How? But to answer to answer a question very quickly. There's a phrase that says you lead by example. So if you don't lead by example, and again, this is Zulusia Pindesikchel Wutimpunda Kulelo. So you are not old to be in any facility that uh, 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 offers education. <laughs> so whether you, are, you can still go and get that metric. Whether you are 70, you can still go and get that metric. You know, okay. I arrived at Subukin campus. There's a um, Umkulu who lives in Bupilong. That man is, is, is a pensioner. He's studying civil engineering. Civil engineering course. So we are born good. Okay, fine. If you also in the ANC are saying that education is the key to success, no, it means down, you man. must also go through <laughs> in mm. that particular education system mm. and know the daily suffrages of the people in that particular space. So I think it's because of Tina Spugan just because of when unago go to tagi, so mina all I'm saying, Uguti, yes, I understand your point, but isn't using to zang up really won't help us because at least education does help. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, but I remain unapologetic mm. about mm. this. And the EFF remains unapologetic no, not, about I'm this. I'm not trying to dispute what she's saying, but I'm yes. basically, I'm, I need to offer two cents with the way yes. I'm yes. I'm basically faragging my two cents. Okay, but, but, but that two cents that I'm trying to uh, farga, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, it, 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 some can say it's a drop in the ocean, but it, it makes a huge impact. 
I, I want to make an example about this, ne? about leaders in society. The EFF puts a threshold for you. For you to be a counselor, whether a peer counselor or a counselor of a ward, for you to be a member of uh, the provincial legislature, for you to be a member of parliament, you need to have a basic qualification of grade 12. At least. They are saying at least. You know, um, but in parliament, we want a certain amount of people who are qualified, you know, who've pursued education from. So most of the people, most of our representatives in the EFF, they are learned people. The first example is the well-known uh, Dr. Mbuisen Ndlozi, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's not just him. Even our leader, the president, Julius Malem, is a graduate. You know, he holds a degree. Uh, I can't remember which degree, but I think it's public administration. You know, but to show that the EFF is serious about education and that it cannot let people who are illiterate or people that do not have a qualification to, to present, you know, uh, are leading the people. We need people who have a qualification to lead the people. And being a qualified person means you are accountable because now you'll be given a certain amount of budget for you to do something. And then you are told to compile a report. How do you compile a report when you do not know how to read and write? Crew. They never came with women here. Yeah. Mm. yeah, sure. Yeah, I can roll here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You know she uh, has a oh, she has a question. But, but, but I was trying to say, Guti, uh, when Jan van Riebeck and, and his crew arrived in South Africa, they never had women. Which is somewhat, somewhat of an interesting fact. That they never came with women, you know? So, to show good, okay, fine. I don't want to uh, uh, divert into another topic, mm. which is about uh, pan Africanism and all of that. Mm. But Ogboni Sugut Omuntu Esmami, Wom Africa, is able to give birth to Umlung. We saw it by Ngabula. Hey, okay. How how were they able to? But 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 to this point. Obalati legai when. <laughs> When? When? They came with three ships. Uh, I, I think this one is Khoda Wub, and I don't remember the, the name of these other two. Yeah, but in history we'll find them. Three ships. Only men. Only men. How are they able to a, a reproduce? Yes, we see Amakalads. To Amakalad Vele. But Amapunupunu. That question, I want to leave you with that question. But you must be. <laughs> What's the question, there? <laughs> so, like, if I could dispute that, yeah. Obviously, there are ships were not broken. Mm -hmm. to be, that's the first point. So they had to go back and go first okay, man. their wives and start settling into South Africa. They came. So we can't just say. Sometimes we have to look look at biology. Biology. Yeah, we can't just say a black person will give <laughs> birth to a white person. It, it, it's true. It's true, my man. But life science, I, I did life sciences, ne? Yeah. And in, 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 in many cases, in many cases, the, the, the genes, the African genes, are very dominant. Mm, mm, mm. They are very, very dominant. Dominant, yeah. You know? But... The, the issue of dominance, again, can be also disputed because the white people can also be dominant, you know, in this issue. Yeah. Uh, I want to make an example about it, uh, 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 but it's, it's still life sciences or biology. A dog. You can breed a white dog with a black dog. Still, you'll get a pure white dog. Okay. And you'll get a pure black dog. And you'll get a brown dog from that litter of puppies. Yeah. So all I'm trying to say is that as much as you can be focused on biology, but abe amangam la la kwelela o amapunu ne bapuma api because we an fan ribeg ne mikumbi aki never came with women, you know. So in most cases, I always say to them, respect the African mother. Sarah Bartman was taken to England after she was taken here from South Africa for her physical attributes. That she was taken abroad, you know. So you need to also be aware of those things. But I don't want to go out of context. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we're, we're debating another issue now, which okay. is out of context. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Okay, going back to the thing, 
of education and whatnot. Um, me nangi to what's your take on abantu abase parliamente abantu abatala pela people who've never lived in our shoes. Like abantu abanga understand isn't this go through zona like as youth ekasi as kolweni just around inje. Um, my take on that is that um, we need more and more young people deployed into parliament um, because if, if, if you find for instance the police minister is 70 plus years old um, he, yes he's very old you know but they still tell people to retire at the age of 65 mm. but why aren't they retiring born and then to make it um, a very simple the ANC currently is not, it's, 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 it's at the point where it's suppressing the young generations. Mm. You know, young people are not given a, a, a chance to express their views. Mm. You know, I want to make an example about Julius Malema. Julius Malema spoke about land expropriation without compensation in the ANC Youth League, when he was president of the ANC Youth League. He spoke about free decolonized education while he was still in the ANC Youth League. But because those views never found expression, he was expelled. Yeah, you know? So it's an example that young people in the ANC currently, in every sphere of governance of the ANC, they do not have a, 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 an expression. You know? To find that uh, someone who's leading COSAS, COSAS is a, is a structure of the ANC that leads um, uh, students in, in high schools. And then there's SASCO and then there's others. Mm. But Cosas is led by someone who's not in a high school. So you see that somewhat the, the, this generation of young people is not given enough to express themselves. Mm. So the ANC is not at the forefront of advocating for young people. The ANC is the, the, pres, the current president of the ANC is league, a Colin Malaji. He was, he's been in parliament for the past five years. It's only now that he's coming back and saying now, eh, yeah. Uh, land expropriation without compensation but he's been in parliament to show that his views were not finding expression because the parliament majority of the people that are leading with him are old people and they do not have new ideas mm. to offer mm. to the current problems you know you cannot speak about the fourth industrial revolution when you're an yeah. eight year old <laughs> you don't know for ir you know you do not know the impact of nanotechnology mm. you do not know in, in, in whether in education whether in healthcare you do not know the impact of, of the fourth industrial revolution but yet you go for ir for ir you know those are the types of people that we see today in parliament mm. so we need to take charge now mm. we have an opportunity as young people mm. to exercise our vote give young people a chance mm. majority of people in 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 in, in parliament of the eff mm are young people. Mm. So we are saying young people. And they've produced many, many uh, um, solutions. Mm. They've, you know, when it comes to healthcare, uh, the, 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 this, this clinic in Orange Farm Extension 2, it was a clinic, now it's a hospital, and mm. it's open 24 hours under the governance of the EFF. Mm. You know, because we say that we want healthcare facilities to be opened 24 hours. Mm. Because if you were to the, let's say the clinic closes at 4 a.m., 4 p.m., yeah, yeah. and then you get an accident About at 5 p.m. Yeah. or 10 past 4. Mm. Where are you going to be taken to? Because you also cannot afford private health care. Mm. Private health care is, is expensive. Mm. So we need our facilities, public facilities, to function properly. Mm. You know? yeah. So the EFF has been at the forefront and making sure that young people receive facilities mm. or many people of society receive facilities mm. you know free and for 24 hours mm. yeah so that is what we are all about so what's your take on what happened like uh was it last week ne? uh like ash good thing like uh, the cic a favorite president yeah i can then they crucify him for saying that like uh, 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 uh we we live in a democratic country mm. and that we should be um given a chance to express our democratic views mm. there was nothing wrong he said yeah Let's be honest. Yeah. He, he was exercising his right mm. of, of the freedom of expression, which he truly has and is entitled to. Mm. He was expressing that. You know, there's many people who say, I like Ramaphosa. Mm. Why aren't they persecuted? 
um Siakolisi si went Rupert. to Johan Rupert, yeah. you know, and he said, Thank you, Uom Rupert. Mm. He even calls him Uom. Uom. <laughs> you know, he's, he's an uncle. Mm. But he's, he was not persecuted for that. But Tebukomukwena for saying Julius Malema. Mm. Ah, now they want to person. pull his sponsorships and all of that. But Puma clarified it that we are not uh, pulling mm. our, our, our sponsorship for him. We're still going to be with him. But, you know, yeah, um, sports is never a political territory. Mm. But though it has its politics inside it, mm. but it's not a, a very, very good uh, terrain mm. to go into, you know. Mm. Because the EFF just went there to go and support and, and support, welcome. Yeah. We're not going there to say, eh, eh, eh. This Bafana Bafana, we want it. No, we're going to say, congratulations. congratulations. Mm. You worked, you put us, you gave us a bronze medal. Mm. You know, it's a, it's, it's a step in the right direction. Mm. Because Bafana Bafana, historically, you know, mm. uh, they've been shamed to be called a bunch of losers and all of that. But we need to uplift their morale. Mm. You know, just invest in them. Because rugby is very invested too. It's, it, it has too many sponsors. And their sponsors are very, very good sponsors. Mm. So if we a, were able to learn and say, let's sponsor Bafana Bafana the same way uh, this SA rugby team is sponsored, sponsored. the Spring, Springboks. Mm. Let's sponsor the netball team the same way. Let's sponsor Banyana Banyana the same, same way. way. In that way, we're promoting equality and that no one is going to be seen as biased mm. when appreciating a certain gesture. From anyone, mm. you know, because he never mentioned the political part. Mm. He just said, "My favorite president, president, Julius Male." You know, it's appreciation. Mm. It is not saying vote EFF. If he was saying vote EFF, you know, it would be seen, you know, as somewhat uh, ethically wrong, or you know, mm. because he's now entering into a space of politics. Mm. But now he said he mentioned an individual, mm. Julius Male. You know, so mm. yeah, that's my take on it mm. to say. There was nothing wrong that he did. Mm -hmm. And everyone should rally behind mm -hmm. Bafana Bafana and give Bafana Bafana the relevant support that they mm -hmm. need because they are our national team. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's a part of uh, PA, yeah, like 18 McKins, like saying good thing, um, Mabaham and all of that, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, you, you know most. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to know because <laughs> Julia Sovias, like, we are all Africans, yes. you understand? Yes. So, I want to know what's your take on that. Um, you know, we, we all many people have a view on this, mm. you know. Um, but the EFF want a borderless Africa. Mm. Um, mainly because if you look at the examples of borders, um, the border between what's this country, Germany, and the country neighboring it, or the UK, mm. there's no border there. Mm. You just walk through. Mm. You're in another country. It can be just a doorstep mm. away, you know. But you won't find anyone say, no, you're a foreigner. You must leave. The, the current uh, um, um, perception about foreigners mm. is perpetuated by a capital, white monopoly capital. When mm. I'm saying that, I'm saying that companies that own, white-owned companies that own majority of the economy. Mm. You know? So we, we, you find black brothers who are fighting. The fight is to fight, uh, is to work for a white man. Mm. Mm. Yeah, when you listen, no <laughs> That's why we are fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were to yeah. ask another person why are you fighting this person, they won't tell you. Was it? How or she said no Because we want to be the darling of white people. Mm. You know, um, 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 we must not even be afraid to say this. That when I, when you see a white person come up to you, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, you shake nya, eh? Yeah, you are you shake nya. <laughs> but we are trying to make it not to that thing not to become a normality anymore, mm. because it, it shows how traumatized we are, and it shows that we are still carrying um the oppression, mental oppression by a white person. You mm. know, everywhere we go, we need to respect ubas, bas maga figure. We need to collect and act. In a, in, a, in, a, in a very specific way because mm. they like it, mm. you know. So now, the issue of uh, foreign nationals, these people just cross a river to come to South Africa. A fence mm. to come here. And it's not because they could have stayed there. They stayed wherever they want to stay. Do you know that most of the people that go into South Africa that are from Zimbabwe and Lesotho and Swaziland, they just come here to buy goods and services and they go back. But I'm saying just 
a typical example is that they do that. They buy here. Yeah, because if you look at Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe's economic sanctions, there's goods and services that are not available at that time. Mm. So South Africa is the closest country which doesn't have sanctions, which has adequate goods and services mm. for them to buy and live and survive. Mm. You know, you can't say uh, another person can't have access to education mm. or access to uh, medical attention, you know, just mm. because they come from Zimbabwe. Mm. But those people, they suffer. So you'd rather say, Hi, Ngumlung. Hey, Umlung. Hi, Shem. Yeah, beba shang apartheid, but as part of the they must get the medication. Yes, the EFF is a non-racial uh, organization. Mm. That's what we want to put. We say we, there's no policy that says we're going to kill white people. There's no policy that says we're going to chase away white people. Mm. We just want to equate uh, the white people with African people. Mm. And then through that, we are going to say African people are going to live at, amongst each other. Mm. You know, because if they've other African countries have been at the forefront of fighting for us during apartheid. Mm. You know, um, Bo Mandela, they come from exile. Where was the exile? Mm. It was not America. Mm. You know, it was not Australia. Oh. It was not uh, Germany. It was here, Tanzania, brothers, mm. you know, Congo. They went to those countries to seek refuge. So why should we be at the center of saying, no, our, Af our own African brothers and sisters are not supposed to get refuge? Mm. I know you're going to. Uh, touch on uh, drugs to say no these people sell drugs mm -hmm. uh, these people uh, are, are, are why are, are the reason why there's so much prostitution in, 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 in South Africa but uh, there, there is, there is a, a crime crime is a very prevalent issue in South Africa mm. so you can't say crime is because of this one we all need to take responsibility to say how do we fight crime you know, especially whether it comes, it is done by a white person mm. or whether it is done by an African person mm. because crime is crime. And there is too many crimes that are said to be done by an African person, but a white person is behind it. Mm. We're not saying that white people are the cause. No, we're saying that there's too many of you, white people, mm. that are perpetuating black on black violence, mm. that are perpetuating the, the usage of drugs in our community. Because you are still holding onto the means of production. Mm. Because my man, crime is caused by poverty. That's true. If 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 today I can't feed myself, I'm going to steal. Mm. So the economic means for me to get bread are not owned by me mm. or by another African person. They are owned by a white person, majority of them. So th we want to say, bring back the economic means. Let us share them or redistribute them equally to everyone so that we do not have this prevalent issue of crime. Mm. You know, so that we do not have a young person who's going to come from school and say, because I do not have a job, let me go and steal, let me go and sell drugs, mm. let me go and do this. Because these things now are even going to a point where a grade 10 pupil will, is selling a, a daha mm. at school because they want to provide for their family. You know, there's too many child-headed homes. Or no, sponsor music career. Yeah, there's too many child-headed homes, mm. you know. So those child-headed homes, again, they need, you know, nourishment, you mm. know. And young people do the worst mm. to, to, to cover those types of true. spaces. But one might say, you see, sometimes, like, you know, 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 understand but but my brother we need to look at the reasons why going to come to south africa mm. the reasons why going to come to south africa is because we do not control the means of production we are poor already yes there is crime already, yes. You know? We, mm. we, we have bad leaders for that, for that note. Mm. You know? So, yes, sweeping, mm. it's something that comes natural. Mm. You know? Uh, we can do it. Mm. You know? We can focus. We can focus. Maybe our, that's what's happening with our leaders. Yes. Now, like, we're going to say, hey, we're going to say, 
You understand? Yeah. For the past 30 years, why bang alone you Hey, don't worry. 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 Hey, don't it's just that we have leaders who want to be seen wearing kuch. Yes, in Kenya, if you live a for John Bernabo, we show manju with like if you gonna drop bring a nani nyalamba unzo shawe. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. So now, the man leaders are an event. We are gonna fuck all. We are going to manju bashaya team. No, like serious, Baba Creed. It's what Baba Creed. Let's be honest. Yes. You want more? You want more? It's what Baba Creed. You understand? Baba Creed, but then into your leadership once we pet up his own. There's no way. Sizo yenti ntes guzo hamba gashe pants. Melegluge. My sister, gala pants. Gala pants. But then, if like he, we os pants, ne? You own a company, and then when our ends is into right, how do you expect your company would see be success? You expect us would send it ten times so we can cover your job as well. Um, um, I think I think in governance. And in business, it's, it, those are two different spheres. Government and business are two different. No, like yeah, the, the are leadership like, aspect. Eh. The leadership aspect of it is 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 yeah. Mm. You can put it that way. But in most cases, in a company or in a business, you need to pay the employees first, then you can pay when. Mm. You know that's why we have. Too many entrepreneurs. Abakala Yoganga good. As an entrepreneur, mm. I firstly need to take care of the production levels of my company mm. before I can take care of myself. Mm. You know. So it's you, you see the difference. But now the politicians, politicians currently in government are not doing the same as the business is doing or entrepreneurs are doing to pay the people before they can pay themselves. Mm. So Bonukala ngai before Angakala guess ge a guy no guya. In the community. Eh, uh, I can be hopefully learn to reach the ears of politics, guys. You suck. Jane. Me, Nanja, like, man, lungis. Because, man, this is over with the EFF. And that. Mina, Mina, I blame, I blame, I blame the ANC for killing um, e e activism. You know, um, making young people to be. I do not want to be in, in, in involved in politics. Exactly. You know? But bulele item balabanta basha. Kakul. To say young people don't want ANC. to find themselves in political activities. Mm. You know, um, it's ANC. because ANC has a tendency of using young people. They use you. They come to you when it's when we always cut it out. The scumbags of this world. Yeah, we go to Coco Tele, Umakelo Ane, or for you, we go to Upesuwe, someone your age or your friend to mm. go and vote. Mm. That's when they see a need for you. Mm. That is why now you'd see uh, many things like Nazi span. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you see. Uh, excuse me. That's why you see programs like the crime prevention wardens. Mm. Where have they been? Because that. Manje is acting here because because no they want to be seen as people who have been working for the community before elections for electoral mm. purposes. Mm. But elections, my man, elections come and go. Mm. The the only thing is that you need to make sure that your 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 impact in office. I was a secretary. I was a I was an SRC member. Yes, mm. Dibeng College. You need to. Uh, that's what I I say to people is that you need to. Firstly, look at the needs of the people before you can look at your needs. Mm. Because those people are the ones that put you up there. You know, so you need to be constantly accountable to them. It's very possible. I tell my politics, they should be all about that. Good team, that what it's, it's does possible. the community accountability. need? Accountability is very possible. The EFF has recalled too many unaccount unaccountable people, mm. whether in parliament, whether in council, whether in legislature. Mm. If we are not accountable, if they say to you, okay, fine, Ushala, we are Salima Spal, as a councillor, Connie Pachet, a Pumile, and then you said you are approving it. Mm. So, and then you do not account to the people. They say, okay, it means that you are incompetent. Abant Bakalanga would, when Aguaco as a councillor, 
gune pitbull we can't enter mm. must call and get so awuk and as a counselor you our visit mm. you know those things they are very very uh, crucial to the EFF governance because we the EFF pulls you through because that seat pelamasia sio vote we are not saying we votela ukagiso as an individual mm. we are voting for the party ile example ucit kuyenza khona manje angithi uthi ngeke ukhona ukuya because of kune pitbull and stuff security first of all he cancel lo muntu bayabulawa every time so possibly to ngabe ukuthi i security ubulawa cause aka save ini i community kulanjiwe siyaphanda thank you thank you no ai 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 no i have family members because of ama cancela same thing and they, they basically no bona babulewe because of bebefuna izinto right ziyenze but just because of ANC laba badala bayabona ukuthi no lo uza ngengqondo e sithi simthulise kancane Oh, Eh, whatever. Like just one guy, the tabu he was so born. Marcus, Marcus. Oh, who was that guy who won? Yeah, Lobi Galwa. UFC, yeah, yeah. UFC. Bayave. Dog, you. That's when you see white people talk. Mm. Like even like the match here, that one club I'm fit. If like who's um long or whatever talk, they will support talk. The match here, Barcelona, the member of the Santos. That's the first time it's been a long time in the stadium. Dog. <laughs> like talk, eh, talk. If President Tenyenza. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 um, um, I think I think um uh, Ab- 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 I was at a voting station in Fandabel Park. Uh white people come out in their number. Hmm. White people when it comes to voting and yo they go out in their number. Hmm. Ani, ani, uh Bell, Bell, Bell Susan. Also there is a figure man to vote but me na because um I'm so demoralized by the leadership gataki mm. you know you. to that point which I'm not even interested in voting anymore Same. so um that is what we are trying to awaken as the EFF to say mm. young people come out in your numbers come and vote because this this chance it it is not granted by me mm. it is not granted by Uh, you my god mm. it is granted by the constitution mm. which is the rule of law and what governs south africa mm. on a daily basis we are bound mm. we are bound by the constitution so young people white people exercise their their right to vote mm. so we also need to exercise our right to vote and making sure that it works for mm. for our betterment yeah you know because we are the government actually to 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 clarify that is that we are the government mm. because we are the ones that vote and we are the ones that can we have the power to remove mm, mm. that person that we voted si in bigger pants yeah sure. so singa bigger pants uzuma wabekwa pants you know um tabombeki wabekwa pants so those things you need to be very uh, cognizant of mm. Mm. it's just good to as realize good is power yeah uh, uh, another thing like in thing you realize you uh, like The, this generation like has got a side tasty change you exactly. understand that's because like that's why i think i feel like you need leo with this boy like i woke up with my tasty change mm-hmm. you understand yeah. because like after 1994 like isn't the best different okay me. so let me give you a solution to that mm. Mm. Yeah. um for, for 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 as as a member of the EFF i'd like to say young people should vote for the EFF mm. because it's one of those relevant parties Mm. and it's it's been at the forefront for advocating for young people mm. again the EFF we want to bring about change in terms of allocating more to young people 
investing more in the future mm. of young people. We want when we say we want free education, that is an investment mm. for the young people because they'll be there to receive education. And for them to be qualified and have all of those things, they would have received education for free. Just imagine you are now a doctor. For free. For free. Matthew. You know, it's 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 a good <laughs> it's a good thing. Because mm. the government would have paid the government in which you voted for, mm. you know, because the, you give government the power by voting. So it would have paid for you. And then again, we want to bring about the change in building facilities, mm. proper, proper facilities for young people. You know, young people need um, facilities to do almost everything. Mm. There are no sports facilities anymore. A high school agrees um, see, as the cars, they are like serious, yeah. like sports are. The reason why people in the private sector excel so much is that they have access to facilities in mm. which we do not. Our no, we don't want hands out. The government, the I government, the government. They made you believe it's like I'm a hand out. Yeah, the government, the government Act is my responsible. I'm not saying good to you. Without politics, do you know People just walk through. It's because the current government did not have maintenance measures in place. So a facility is there, but the facility is not maintained. That is why Gukonu is Lulanji. And a lot of things can happen, by the way, there. Because Aguko Mundu, who's looking over, even the books, you can go there with, okay, you won't find someone who's actually which, which section do you go to? Because the facility on its own is no longer maintained. The plan of the facility is no longer the same. You know, you find people that are buried where there's a pipe. You know, you know, you find people that are buried in a place that is not um, cut for a burial of someone because you know, um, sports facilities. Young people need to always be in sports. Young people in sports, you know, we are able to do a lot of things, stay away from drugs and alcohol and all of that because we uh, have a facility to go to. Mm. But how many facilities do we have currently? Mm-hmm. Where young people can go and exercise, where young people can go and study, you know, where young people have access to Wi Fi. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, touching on Wi Fi, Wi Fi is something. Because we are people that are based so much on the internet and it's so true. much information passes through the internet, but we do not have the daily access to internet. No, not everyone is the privilege to have a router, mm. or no fiber. one, the fiber and all of that, you know. So mm. some of those things are supposed to be provided by the government. The government is supposed to close that gap. Mm. Because, okay, fine. Mm. But now, if you have a sports complex, you can't do it. 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 You can't do like in South Africa, like a borderless country, yes. now footy, now one jar of footy, like a bo, Jungle, but we born a lot of graveyard footy, like Gunjan, we understand. Yeah, Gia Mosharala because Agna mm. maintenance, mm. you understand. Mm. My borders, like, are we maintained now? Mm. We understand. Yeah. The borders are not maintained, but the, the on the issue of borders, borders are if, were imposed on us. Mm. That we need to go back and say these things were imposed on us for people to stay away from, for black, black people to stay away from each other, mm. you know, to perpetuate a certain hate on each other. Mm. Because we hate each other, currently. Mm. Many black people hate each other, you know. Mm. And sharp, you can hate someone from Zimbabwe, but it's going to end up mm. You know, that, that's how far it has went. Mm. Because it has went to a point where People from KZN, mm. the Zulu-speaking people, mm. are not welcoming of people from other provinces. Mm. Because, Guzo Tiwa, when, Buyele Natal, when, go back to Limpopo, you're not welcome here. Mm. You know, go back to the Eastern Cape. You know, mm. those things, 
it's it's is not going to figure out but currently man you go back to zimbabwe go back to botswana go back. but those people just yeah. enter and jeje so so simple mm. people from lesotho go to the free state they buy whatever and then they go back mm. people from botswana go to the northwest they buy whatever they want to do or they do whatever they want to do and then they go back so mm. it's just that we just want to deal currently with the issue of illegal immigration sort it out and then after sorting it out that is when we can come back and say mm. yeah now um let us be one in this country africa even now this a, 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 an example is that people from botswana and zambia mm. there's no point okay they you do not need a visa to go and be at zambia or at botswana mm. you just enter free mm. you do not need a passport so tina is mzanzi silwa in botswana and zambia are not as developed as south africa tina silwa Funny enough, funny enough, na Ibutzwana is safest country, safest country in mm-hmm. Africa. It's the safest country in Africa, but we are we are not focusing on those people who come from Botswana to South Africa. We are focusing on people who come from Nigeria, Zimbabwe, as if those people are not African enough. But now in fact, we need to put many Nigerians to do so by seeing Kwala or as a Like you understand, like. Like, like, like the distance, <laughs> <laughs> the distance. Ah, I'm proud. Yeah, then, the, yeah, like, yeah. like that's why you don't have a rush. Good to see, like, eh, low thing is a mathematic grand grand. Like, I go to like Guluana. Yeah, ah, true. Like, but, but in the same breath, they are still, they still remain our brothers and sisters. It's mm. just that they come uh, in South Africa to bring a certain, t- these people bring experiences. Mm. Mm. You know the mm. education system is quite different as compared to ours. Yeah. Some of them bring a skill. Mm. You know. And, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, and if you look at if you look at teachers, yes, I wanted to make this example. I forgot. Mm. Many teachers, ne, or mm. many people that um are, are, are offering extramural activities or classes are from outside. You know, wow. especially they offer mathematics classes. And all of those things. So yeah, so we can say they're not welcome. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. After my election, when I was at that. After elections, uh, the EFF is definitely taking over. If we're not number one. Thank you. And uh, the first thing that we want to do is to expropriate land without compensation, give land to our people, because land is at the center mm. of the struggles of our people mm. currently. And then um, give our young people free education mm. so that we can create more jobs, you know, in source security guards and cleaners that are working at government facilities, mm. build school, build university, mm. build, you know, it, that is going to give our people jobs. That is the first thing that we want to do when you mm. take up. How do we know that you are not set? How do we know that the EFF does not uh, give you promises? Uh, you can read manifest, the manifesto. Uh, it's 266 pages. It's commitments. The EFF makes commitments that if if I build this today, mm. I'm going to come back tomorrow and check whether it's still functioning as to what it was built for. Mm. So that is what we do. We check up, we follow up Listen, constantly of really what. Mm. So if you look at where the EFF governs, where the EFF maybe has a councillor or an MMC, mm. you can see that those people don't touch on an issue for one day. They touch on that issue and they follow up and mm. they make sure that there is no longer mm. some sort of uh, bad things happening. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. Good day. Good day, Len. I just want to ask. I'm trying to get some example. It's just simple. You understand? Um, as Tina, as a youth, you understand? Yeah. Len, like as hang, like certain skills of us are only Len because like it's something like let's say you're older than by the phone, and then nyazalo, mangzalo by chatting the phone. Oh. We understand. Mm. I'm running my own attention. You've own. never owned. But yeah, we understand. Yes. So like, I uh, eco sentimental. Mm. We understand. Okay. But the, the, issue, the issue, issue of thing. land has to be sentimental because it shows it, 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 when you have land, you have roots. Mm. Go to urban, mm. you know. And then um, mm. land, 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 even in EMS, umtano is EMS ka grade 7. But I'm telling you, land is the first factor of production. So umuntu, Often when the business needs land for them to build, for them to have anything, you mm. know, because land is at the center, mm. you know. So if land is, we do not own land, mm. we can't do all those things. We can't have a uh, pursue our dreams and aspirations. Mm. We wouldn't even have, be having this particular studio mm. 
if we did not have land to mm. have a studio on. Mm. So you see the importance of land goes even far as from it being sentimental. It's mm. supposed to be a sentimental. Mm. It's at the cause of our problem. Mm. Not owning the land, it means you do not own the mines, it means you do not own the farms. So anything that the land produces, mm. you do not own it. Mm. So you need land so that we can eat the pro the, the product mm. of our own land mm. and then know to, our land is benefiting us mm. because our land currently, as it is not in our uh, ownership, it doesn't benefit us Ish. anywhere. I'm fine. Thanks for following through, my guy. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been yeah, an yeah. honor to be here. Ish, Mfana, so where do we follow you? Social media platforms? Um, on, on, on Facebook, I'm Kahiso Max Nkuna. Mm. Um, yeah. And on Instagram, it's Refilwe to underscore 22. Yeah, on Twitter it's Kahiso Max. Mm. Yeah, that's basically where I am. Oh, All right, but I, I think we must have you again after my elections. I wanna no, 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 it would be an honor. It would be a Thank, you. Thank you very much. Always. <laughs> yeah, Papa, I'm gonna have to move. <laughs> 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 and that's it for today's episode of Turkish. The story behind your story. I go by the name of Chase. The best of you to find out the skin the more the fish pan to the issue. Thank you. Please follow us on all of our social media platforms at Turkish. Young Kinda. Thank you. I can't thank you. Thank you. Issue.